Hi, my name is John Holland and I'm here to talk today about uh, this fabulous little tenor guitar. Um, this is quite an um, interesting instrument. Um, essentially they were designed um, as a way of sort of uh, combating the banjo back in another era many, many moons ago. And in a sense, this instrument that I have here is actually kept with that sort of historical perspective um, by creating this beautiful belly back that it does. It reminds me very much of the year of the style of guitar that Robert Johnson, for example, was playing. Um, there are a couple of things about it, though, that you probably should know. Um, first thing is that it's got a, a bone nut and it's got a bone saddle. Um, it's also got a beautiful piece of um, spruce on the top, and that's a solid top. Um, which is very uh, synonymous with a large proportion of the artist's guitars. And this particular uh, one is gorgeous because it almost reminds me, because of the grain run, that it kind of looks like an Adirondack um, uh, top, which is uh, considered to be quite high quality. It's laminated mahogany back and sides. Um, it also has a plug-in option, which is uh, really fabulous, obviously, for things like this because they tend to be a little bit smaller in sound. This is our preamp here. We have um, geared machine heads that actually hold tune quite nicely. Um, basically, when it all comes down to it, this has got a, this is a really good build quality. It's also got that that lovely uh, sort of uh, big belly at the back, um, as you can see there. Um, you can have a lot of fun with these, and, and people underrate them enormously. Um, but really, for the price point, you're not going to get anything better. So if you want to look for a really cool tenor guitar, the artist tenor guitar is worth going for.